So hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we are going to explore Wix. So with the Wix, we will create this awesome restaurant website you are seeing right now. So this is a website that we are going to create in this video. You can see that it is really amazing. And uh, let me actually show you the animation here. So you can see that however I'll scroll, the animation will take place here. And the images, all things are really perfect. And this is what we are going to create from the scratch in this video using Wix editor. And also, I want to share you the page transition. So here you can see that, that I'm talking about the transition between the page as you can see, it's looking really smooth as you can see. Perfect. So here you can see that the menu, the menu page where I have all the menu and this is my local currency and it's looking perfect. If I go to the about page, now you can see the transition that's butter smooth. And also I have this page where you can actually create an order for the restaurant. And you can come here and select your option and you can see that uh, I have some dishes here. This is my own dishes. Just select that and after that, if you want some extra rice, you can also select that and add your order. Now you can see that we can order this right away. So this is what we are going to make it in this video. And I want to thank Wix for sponsoring this video. And I appreciate their support for the channel. And that's it. So let's make the website. So first of all, come to Wix official website. So for that, you can click the first link of the description or you can just browse Wix.com. So whenever you will come, you will see this blue button get started. So click that. So here you can see that uh, we are in now the login uh, section. And if you are using Wix for the first time, you just can sign up. And here is my dashboard. So you can see that I already tried for a few time so let's create a website so for that whenever you will log in you will find options here so you can see that create a new site so just click that so it will open this new page where you can see that i need to choose my platform so for that uh, i will use uh, wix but in future maybe i will cover with editor x so for now let's select wix and here you can see that uh, we need to answer some questions. So first of all, what kind of website do you want to create? So for this tutorial, I will create a restaurant. So restaurant website. And after that, you need to choose one of the options. So here you can see that I have two options. First option is go with the ADI, which actually you can say a kind of Wix AI that will create your website for you. So for that, you need to actually answer a few questions. So based on those answer that will create the website and after that you can obviously edit the website as you want and also we have another option uh, which is actually directly we can create or we can edit the website by us or we can create the website manually so i will choose this one but feel free to also choose this one uh, so that you can actually have an advantage of wix ai so Let's actually choose a template and from the template we will go on. So here you can see that we have so many templates. So actually uh, before we chose that we want to make a website for restaurant. So that's why I am seeing only the restaurants uh, template here. If you chose other things. So the template will be based on what you chose before. So you can choose any of them. They are really great and professional template, but let's go with the first one. So it's looking great and you can also view that, but I want to edit directly. So let's edit that. So it will take a couple of seconds. And after that, we are back in our editor. So this is the editor and you can see that this is the website and if you are using this uh, for the first time, maybe you are not familiar with that. So let's actually take a tour what we have here. So here in the left side, we have a panel. So you can see that we can manage all the menus and all the pages. So the template that we chose here, we have a home page 
also about page menu page catering page contact page and also a button for order so those are the pages and you can actually manage those pages and the menu from this button or from this panel so whenever you will click you can see all the pages here and if you want you can create a blank page or a new page from here so after that we have this background so when you can see that we can actually change any background so for now we are using as a background this color which is a solid color so however you will go you will see this color and this can be changed by section so after that we have an option for adding things something like if you want to add a text in your website any kind of things not only text if you want to add a image button name it you will find everything here so if you want to add any kind of things if you want to add event if you want to add booking system so you will just need to press this add button and from here you need to choose what you need to add and after that my favorite thing which is the theme manager and from that theme manager you can actually control all the colors all the typography for your theme so let me show you what i mean so here you can see that the color theme that we are choosing here is this one and uh, if you want to change that what you can do just click that and here we have so many color themes and the best part of it whenever you will hover one of the palette the whole website will change and you will have a preview what you are selecting or what you are hovering so you can choose the best color for your website as you can see it's changing all the colors whenever you are hovering one of the color palette so you can come here and uh, explore those color palettes from here they have a lots of them so explore with the color palettes or create your own just you need to select one and if you don't like any of the color you can just choose or change it so that's really amazing and after that we have the text which is the typography and here you can change all the typography for the heading for the paragraph for the buttons all the things so if you want to change that what you can do actually you can click that and after that you can actually select the font that you like or if you want to upload your own font you can also do that here so select the font or upload the font that you want and you are ready to go so after that we have our apps so from that you can actually add a different kind of apps for your website so after that what we have is we have a media so this is the place where we need to store all of our images and if you need to upload you can do that and also you can use free weeks videos images and also uh, premium images from there uh, and after that we have our blogging section from that you can actually add your blog so after that you will have this business tool so this is the place where you will manage your all the analytics and also the seo and uh, all the management uh, customer management finance and all the other things so this is the left side uh, on the right side we have our panel which will allow you to edit your website content so after that here you can see that we have our content and um, most of the time what you need to do actually you need to change it you don't want to have a random text in your website so what do you need to do let's say that i want to change the background color i don't like that background image this background image so for that just click the background so you can see that uh, change the background so select that and here you can see we have so many options so let's actually uh, use this one uh is it looking good you can have a live preview here which is really amazing and uh, i don't think it is also looking good so i think we should explore a little bit here so if i go to the image here you can see you also you can use a solid color just select this so let's go to the image here so you can see that this is the wix media and from here you can select one so let's actually see uh, i think this one is looking good what you say uh, i don't know it's looking good actually uh, in our website so you can see that uh, it's looking not bad uh, it's looking quite well actually uh, but it's not going with the color that we chose before but uh, you can actually change your color so let's actually come here in our theme so let's change the theme so 
so i think we will choose this color palette uh, which is looking good for me as you can see that the whole website color is changed with the color theme that we chose here so let's actually have some customization here so you can see that this is the text and i want it in the left so i just need to change the alignment so we can actually also drag and drop it uh, i think we should have a left alignment here so we just can do something like that or you can actually edit the text and from here we need to set the element in the left side so now the text is actually in the left side left aligned and also do that here and if you want you can directly change the text so it's looking fine for me yeah uh, perfect or i think i should change also the alignment for this text also yeah looking good so this text is perfect looking perfect for me so this text is looking good and i think it's looking perfect and after that as you can see we have this and if you want to change any of the text just click that text and you are ready to edit so if you want to edit that you can do that so i am editing the text or the paragraph not the test so as you saw it is really simple to do so you will not have any kind of trouble with that and let's say that i want to change those uh, images as i already showed just click the image and manage media and from that you need to select your own image and you are good to go and let's say that i want to add something my own my own custom thing so what you can do actually for that uh, so let's say that i want to add a section after this uh, section here as you can see so for that let's actually click this one and here from here i will actually select a section so let's see how it, i will find so you can see that we can add a section something like a team section uh, which will be good i think and if you can see that you can have a you will have this preview which is looking good and i think uh, this one will look good so as you can see that this section is already added and i don't think it's looking good actually i know what i need uh, i need this one which will make perfect sense so i don't like the color here as you can see that in the background for that let's actually change the color and i need to add this color which is our theme color i think we should add a light color instead of this and it's looking good this one i think yeah so this is actually very cool so this is your theme color and from this theme color you will have your uh, shade different kind of shade as you can see that according to your theme color which is really cool so i have the background color and let's say that meet the shape and here what you can do you can change the image uh, i already saw the process and here you can change also the name and all the other things and let's actually come to here in our horizontal menu here you can see that this is our horizontal menu which is looking good and if you want to change that you can do you can just come here in the manage menu and let's say that i don't want to show the contact uh, page here in our website you can just come here and hide that so this is really amazing so you can see that now i'm hiding the contact page if you don't want to show that but i want to show that in our website so let's actually get back our contact page so you can see that the contact page this is our contact page if you select that you will have a live preview of this page so you can see that we have our contact page and same thing if you want to edit you can do that there is a lot of things that you can customize so also let's actually go to the menu page here you can see that we have our menu page and if you can see for the menu we have our menu here and this is our dish and this is our the price you can see so if you want to change that or if you want to add an item in your menu what you can do you can just click the menu you can see that manage menus and click that 
what it will open is it will open your panel where you will have all of your so this is your website inside of your website you have your orders you have your phone orders you have your menu means all the things so if you are using it as a restaurant website you will have this option but if or if you are making a booking website you will have relative option according to your website means if you are using it as a booking website you will have the option for your bookings all the if you are using for a member website you will have all the options for the member so i'm using it as you know as a website for restaurants so that's why i'm having the menus orders and all the other things about the restaurant website so you can see that we have only one menu and you can go to the menu and you can see that we have our signature bowl and all the three kind of menu that we have and you can also edit single of them so you can create new one and also you can create from the existing one so select existing and from that you can create your new dish or you can just create from the scratch so you need to select your uh, picture for your dish so if you have picture and i think uh, we are not using any kind of picture for our dishes so that's why we don't need the image uh, instead of that uh, i will have a good name so let's say that um, my master dish so this will cost 100 usd or the price and after that you need to have a little description so this is the best master dish by arfan so and after that you have an option for your dish levels means if you wanna use it as a special dish for your restaurant you can also mark it as special and if you want to have a, let's say that it's a vegan you can do a vegan level and also you can specify how much spicy it is so, so as you can see that uh, we have three options so hot sorry spicy hot and the extra hot i will go with the hot so this is a hot and vegan and this is our special dish so if i add that so now you can see that this is our dish that we already added and if you want to have new option for the same dish you can add that so what kind of option do you need uh, from here so let's say that i want to have some extra so let's actually have it so if you want to add more extra uh, rice you need to cost uh, ten dollars for that so let's add it so now you can see that this is my new option which is the extra rice and whenever the user will add extra rice with this master dish they will need to pay extra ten dollar so this is how you will manage your menus so if i come to my menu page i should see my master menu and here is my special my master menu so here you can see the special this is the level that we put so inside that as you can see that we have the level which is the hot means the spicy level and after that we have a icon for our vegan and if you want to change the color of the menu or anything so you can just select the settings and inside that you will have all the option to change the layout so you can see that this is the layout uh, what is classic and if you want to change it to the yummy so you can see that from where you need to add a image here so but right now we don't have any kind of image but if you want to add this layout you need to add images so i will go and actually explore a little bit more i think this one is looking good uh, this one is looking good i think this is the one that i will go and after that you can see uh, this is the design part from higher you can actually change the color of your headlines and it is looking good as you can see that all of three kind of dishes you can see and each of the dishes is looking perfect for me so let's go to our about but uh, you can see that uh, this menu should have a background color what i think actually so let's actually manage menu not manage menu i think i should go to i should go to the design here so here you can see that we are using this first one but i don't like that i want to use this kind of uh, rounded shape and after that customize the design means i need to change the background color first of all 
so here fill color and this is the background color and from the background color i will use this and also uh, as you can see i need to change the border not border color sorry i need to change the text color and also you can change your font so i'll leave it as it is so if you want you can change and also i want to show you the hover color whenever you will hover the text you can actually uh, change the color of it so let's say that whenever i will hover the text i will change it to a lighter color so if i come to the regular so this is the regular and whenever i will hover it will be uh, what i'm saying it will be a lighter color and also you can fix a color whenever you will click it and as you can see that it is actually uh, touching the edge of this button and that's what i don't want so what i need for that i need to select that and i need to position the menu and uh, for that we can use this panel uh, let's say that i don't want this here i think it's looking good and from the top i will go something like that so looking good and also let's do it for this button so i need to change the position for that so i just can drag and drop or you can select this panel which will allow you to so i will have the same as our this vertical space for our this menus which is the 10 i believe and i think we should use a rounded button instead of this square so let's go to the design and here we have our lot of buttons and from that you can choose your own buttons so i think uh, we will use this rounded one or this one yeah this one from where we can change our background color so uh, we need to use a uh, this color for our background which is actually dark chocolate taps color and for our text i will change the color to a light color which is our this white color so looking good perfect and uh, as you can see that this is our button and if you click this button uh, you can see a linked option means whenever i'll click this button where it will open so it will open a page or you can use any kind of things means if you want to open a web address external web address you can actually choose for that and also if you want to uh, go to the up or bottom of the page you can also do that which is actually fine option which you might want that uh, maybe in many website you saw a button a little button that will help you to navigate from the top to bottom bottom to top so you can also do that from here and also you have some options and also this option which is actually i really like that the light box option whenever you will click that it will create the pop-up so obviously you need to create the pop-up but you have the option for it so that's what i'm saying but we are actually having a link for a page and also you have option if you want to open the page in a current window or a new window whenever you will select the new window whenever you click it will create a new window and open it there but if you select the current window it will open in the current window and if you notice that whenever i am selecting or whenever i'm going from one page to another i'm having a transition so let's actually talk about this transition so if you come to the pages and menu you will find this page transition so click that here you can see that we have some transition you can actually choose so this is the horizontal transition if you click that so now you can see that this is how the page will be uh, will have the transition whenever you will click a page or you will have a vertical or if you want to have a crossfade something like that or out in i think i like this crossfade which is looking good for our page transition so this is my new business our fun's kitchen uh, which is located in the chittagong if you come please try it we have so many dishes so if i go to the menu from here i need to go to the menu and also what you can do actually you can actually preview that here so whenever you are doing something after the edit you can just have the preview whatever you did you will find it here so cool and let's actually go to the edit because i don't want or i don't like this background which is not looking good so select or click this you can see that this is the page background i don't want that uh, i need a image and for the image i will use media from wix yeah that's looking good i think 
for our background so you can see that we change the background so this is really amazing so this is really good so looking good and the site is actually looking perfect so also what we have here we have our the settings you can see that we have all the settings for our pages and also interesting thing if you are using uh, photoshop before you will see layers so also you will see the layers here which is really helpful for your designing purpose whenever you will design a web page this layer will be helpful for you so you can see that we are in our footer option so this is the place where we edit it so inside the footer you can see that this is the strip column one column two inside the column two we have actually editing this one so you can actually select the single thing that you want to change or you want to do or you want to edit that so you can actually see and select everything from here and also it will be helpful whenever you will make a complex layout and whenever you will have a complex overlapping things this will be helpful so you need to go to the tools and from that you can actually open this layer or you can close it or you can actually open the roller so in here you can see that now we have this roller and this is what this roller is and also here you can see that we can actually uh, have the guideline or not guideline so you can see that this is the guideline actually the border you can see that the border dot dot borders dash dash border so this is the guideline that you can also uh, control and also snap to object so after that uh, i want to show you uh, really interesting things which is the dev mode so you can open the dev mode here you can see that all the pages that we have and also we have our own development environment so here you can actually add your own javascript with the web page so if you know the development or you if you are a web developer you know this npm node package manager from there you can install your uh, package if you want to add any kind of extra feature to your website so this is really cool actually and also you can use your own script here so you can see that uh, page code and uh, here it is here it is so you can add your own file and write your own javascript so which is really cool i don't need my own file but i want to show you one uh, so let's say that whenever i'll click the background i will change the text so what i need to do actually i need to click the background so you can see that whenever you will be in the dev mode you will have the id for the selected element which is this one for the case and for that i just have the on click event so let's add it so you can see that now i have this function which is actually a click event for this background so whenever i'll click that i will actually change the text inside of this text uh, just select that and you can see that the id here is this one so which is the text uh, one so what i need to do now so this is a little wix code i need to add so you can see that now i selected this text and after that i need to just say that i want to change the text inside of this so i will say that uh, you you clicked so let's actually preview and see whenever i'll click this uh, the background now you can see that the text is actually changed so this is a little demo that i showed here which means you can do a lot with the javascript with your wix so also you have something like a uh, release manager second manager and also site monitoring so second managers means uh, whenever you are using an external api you should have something like api keys which you don't want to share with the public so for that you can use this and also you can create your own database so for this case we don't want that but i just let you know what you can do with the wix and the last thing that i want to show you is the order one so you can see that this is the order so let's actually not I need to go to the order page so you can see that this is our order page and you can also uh, manage the order page and here you can see that how your order option will be whenever you'll select that and here you can see that there is no order right now but 
hot i want to show you is the setting so you can see that these are the settings for your options uh sorry these are the settings for your uh order so pick up so here you can see that the times for your pickup and you can also change that and also finally whenever you will publish it you need to turn off sorry turn on your order so right now it is actually off but whenever you will publish you should turn on the order and also we have the notification means whenever someone will order how you will be notified by the wix so here you can see all the options so if you want to have a something like online uh, extra notification means if you want to have a mail whenever someone will order you can do that so this is the mail option and you need to add your own mail and after that you have also something like phone call webhook something uh, fax you can do that from here and also i want to show you the mobile version means whenever you will design a website this website should be responsive means this website should look good in the mobile site in the mobile device also so let's actually switch to the mobile and here you can see that this is the website this is the look you will have whenever the person or the user will look into your website so you can see this is the website uh, we have our backdoor logo so i don't want it in the middle i want it in the left side and here you can see that we have our logo so let's actually go to the home page here this is the hamburger menu as you can see that the whenever someone will click that and the menu will pop up so you can see whenever i'll click that i have options for designing that uh, you can see i can choose uh, many kind of hamburger icon so i will choose this one which is actually a square and i like that and whenever i'll click that so now you can see that it is already changed here and let's actually open the menu however i will click that the open the menu will be open something like that and if you want to change that you can also do it's looking good perfect and let's actually check other things so you can see that the whole website is fully responsive and is looking perfect for mobile device so something like you can see that these images is not looking uh, in the right place because the text don't have the perfect contrast in this case so, uh, I think we should do something like that. For the mobile, it's looking much better. The logo text will be here. And after that, we will have our this uh, headline. And in the bottom, we will have this. And uh, that's it. So I think we have a pretty good uh, website. So this is the time for the publish. So you can actually see that you can save the uh, settings or the edit that you did here, the update that you have. So after that, uh, you can see that they will give you this kind of a URL that you can use for your website. So something like wix.com slash your website. And if you don't want that, what you can do whenever you will publish. So we don't want to have wix.com slash myrestaurant.com. I want to have myrestaurant.com. So for that, what I need to do actually, I need to update my plan. So once you purchase the packages, now you can see that uh, we have a premium level on my website. So let's actually see the website by clicking this link. So now you can see that we are opening the website. It's looking good. Uh, the animation is taking place perfectly. Looking good. And I love to see the page transition here. So now you can see that the transition between pages uh, it's kind of uh, looking good, I think. Now you can see, whenever I will actually go one place to the another place, the transition is really amazing. And also let's see the order page. Here you can see that the order page. And here you can see all the pages, so all the items that we also, the or dishes that we added here is actually here. So let's see like that. Now you can see that I have an option so let's say that I want the extra rice. So it's perfect. So add to the order. Now you can see that the order is here. And also if you notice that the currency is my local currency. So it's actually perfect. So now you can see that here is the message because we did not open the order yet. So for that what you need to do actually you need to go to the settings and order settings. And from that you can actually turn on the order. I already showed that. So this is perfect, a perfect website you can see here.
so that's it guys uh, that's for the video and if you are interested to create your own website you can just click the first link of the description and you can create your own website with wix and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friend and family and if you also want to watch more video like this one please subscribe the channel and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye